a couple of weeks ago, I surprised one of my biggest fans on Zoom, and it went a little something like this. Take a look. <laughs> Tamia! Tamia! <gasps> Tamia, it's me, Jennifer, Tamia! Can you see me? I can see you, can you see me? Yes, I can see you. <laughs> oh my God, oh, okay. You know I'm taping my show right now, listen. I'm giving myself over to you. Body and soul, I'm giving it all over. Oh. Sing it, now it's your turn. <laughs> she too shy. I'm giving myself over to you now. Give it up for Tamia! <laughs> so you, you lost it to the point. You fell on the floor and your mama had to pick you up off the floor. Yes. She did? Yes. Oh my God. Yes. I was just in complete shock and disbelief. Like, this kind of stuff don't happen every day. <laughs> And so, like, when I seen you, I just fell on the floor and started crying. I don't even remember getting back up on that you chair. You don't remember? No. You must have fell quick, because yes. you looked like you were sitting in that chair the whole time to me. Oh, my God. And your mom is here today. Lakeisha, yes. where you at? Hi. <laughs> what was you thinking, Hi, Jennifer. Mom? Hey, How are it's you? me, Jennifer. So nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What were you thinking when your baby was on the floor? What you do? <laughs> I knew about the surprise, uh -huh. so I had tissue because I knew she was going to cry. Aww. But because she's, if not your biggest fan, she is one of your biggest fans. She absolutely loves you. Thank you. And so I had the tissue. I did not expect her to run and fall out of the chair. <laughs> and so I had to hurry up and think because I got caught in the moment and I had to literally pick her up. Cause she was done. I had to literally pick her up <laughs> and put her back in the chair so she can compose herself and she can complete the interview. Oh, <laughs> well, your mama is a blessing. Thank you for that, mom. Oh my God. Your letter you sent me touched my heart. What made you want to write in? Well, like you inspire me in so many ways. Like you inspired me to join theater and step out of my comfort zone. And I was like, you know, there once was a time I used to sing in a church choir, but like, I didn't really take singing that seriously. And so when, you know, I like seeing you like singing and like seeing that you were so passionate about it, That's I was me. like, let's just give it a shot. And like, yes. when I'm singing now, I just like, I feel like so like much love. And like, you always said, do what you love because do it's what, what you, you want to do. And like, I, when I had the opportunity to send you a message, I was like, we are not gonna waste that opportunity. Aww. And like, now I'm here right now. And now you're here, look around you. Yes. <laughs> Oh my God. You also said I helped you get through some tough times when your grandmother passed? Yes. Tell like, me about that. It's, it, you know, it's hard losing like someone that you really love. And you know, she was just like the, the mold in our family, like the heart yes. of it all. Like she brought us all together. And like, I just remember like sitting like in the bathroom sink, you know, trying to do my makeup and like, I was just thinking of like my granny and like I had a mixture of all songs playing. And, one of your songs that played was Still Here. And like, it really touches oh my, my God. heart. Are you serious? I love that song. Like, and when it was playing, you know, I just started crying even more. And like, you know what that song was for? What? My grandmother. Really? Still Here, yes. It was? Yes. So oh that's why I'm like, really? Wow. It that's must crazy. be the power of, you know, grandmothers are extremely important, yes. right? <laughs> and my grandmother was dear to me too, so I understand. And she passed when I was 16. How were you when your grandmother passed? I was 16. Too. You were 16? Yes. Wow, what a coincidence. Yes. Did she inspire you to sing at all? Yes, like, you know, she, she used to be the lead singer in our church choir. My grandmother too! Really? Yes! Oh my God! That is crazy! And like, she used to like, when she was younger, she used to sing at like nightclubs and stuff like that. So, you know, it's really cool hearing yeah. interesting stories about your grandmother. And like, everybody loves to hear her sing at the church. They be like, oh, go and sing a song, <laughs> sing a song. And you know, like just hearing her sing and like, and when you have those memories now, yes. like when you record stuff and like looking at those recordings of her singing, it touches my heart. And like, I know she's just happy like that I'm here. She's like, smiling right down now. on you yes. right now. <laughs> I'm sure she is. <laughs> I love that. See, we have a grandmother bug <laughs> as well. And then you collect my CDs. Oh, yeah. But you don't have a CD player? <laughs> so explain that. <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, just like having like those moments like of you, like, uh -huh. I just like, I don't know. I just, I love the CDs. Like, you know, I got them on, you know, now they have the thing where you can like listen to it on your phone and right. stuff. But like, 
just like having a collection of you and then like I got your respect record. Like, Aww. respect. <laughs> yes. And so just like keeping them with me is just like, it just touches my heart. That is so sweet. <laughs> I love that. Well, I have a little surprise for you. I am sending you home with a CD player. Oh, really? A J-Hug bucket hat and a swag collection for you. Girl, you see what I got for you? You like it? Oh! <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit JenniferHudsonShow.com to see when you can watch full episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.